Wait, did you say what? Say what? No, 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 no. Yes. Already recorded. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. I think I said it. I thought you'd die. Someone would look back and see what you recorded. I'm like, why, why, why don't you do that? <laughs> okay. And it's recorded. Uh, <laughs> all right, so first thing I do is force diagram. What is the first? What is the first? Gravity. Gravity goes straight down. Okay, second force, normally we talk about is normal force. Where's the norm? Where's the norm? Nowhere. Where? Is this, is this on a surface? Okay, what a, okay, what a force that you put in? Friction. Friction. I said there was no friction. So, there is only tension. And then this tension does this, does this. Because I got to crack this bad boy. Right? And if that's theta, right, that means this is theta, yes? So then this is tension, this is mass times mass times t, this is, this, this is theta, this is t cos theta. Questions? Yeah. How do you know which one is t cos? Which one's adjacent to the angle? But aren't there two adjacent? Nope. This is the hypotenuse, right? Oh, okay. That's fine. I, I, questions, make sure you ask questions, make sure you ask questions, they're good. Now I do some of the forces in the x that has to equal that has to equal as I asked you for the asked you for the so that's t sine theta is equal to m a. Now in the y direction, some of the forces in the y is zero because this thing's not accelerating up or down. So you get, you get t cos theta equals m g. So t is equal to m g over cos theta. So I take this, plug it into that, and then uh, here I can divide both sides by m, and what I get is a, a equal to mg tan theta. Wait, why don't you because it goes straight up and goes straight up. And There's no surface, right? Alternate solution um, um, over here in the sum of the forces in the x, in the x we have in the x we have in the x we have, in the x we have, in the x we have equals m a, and on the y we had t. No, that's not correct. I think this was sine theta, right? Yeah. This was t sine theta, and then over here was t cos theta equals m g m g, and then what if you solved for m? T sine theta over A and plugged it in. Plugged, plugged it in. Theta equals T sine theta, theta over theta over times G. G. These cancel. I multiply both sides. I multiply everything by A. And I get A, A is equal to, oh, and then I'm going to divide both sides by cosine theta. And I get A is equal to. Uh, uh, does that make sense? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Omnes via apia apia ad Roman. Roman. I mean Latin. It means all roads lead to Rome. 
It's, it was because during the Roman Empire, there were like, I can't remember how many, eight or 12 or something, roads that led from the center of Rome outward. And those roads could be tracked, roads could, roads could be tracked all the way out, way out to Gaul, which is in France, right? All the way out to like the Middle East, all the way out to Germania, all the way out to Espana. Like you could go to all those different countries, standing, standing, and that's where that, that, and so Rome was built on this wheel-like structure, and that's where that phrase comes from. Anyways, any other questions on this?